Okay guys, today's job for me is to help secure this thing from predators. I gotta secure the chicken coop, guys. Right now, uh, it's back at said no bricks. We're gonna build a better base for it. Uh, I'm gonna use some four by four boards and cut and make a really nice base for it, guys. And then we're gonna um, kinda put it in place and make it look nice and secure it as small latches. This top is flimsy. So we wanna make, I'm gonna add a piece of plywood to this top uh, so it can have some weight. I'm gonna remove the lat, I mean, remove the hinges from it and attach a uh, piece of plywood to it to give it some weight and attach the hinges to the plywood and, the, and this metal roofing so it can have some weight to it. So, um, I also got to put a latch on this and we're gonna latch this door shut I'm gonna put a latch on this door so uh, let me get started guys and let you see I see how it is so we're gonna build a base because we don't want the wood to sit directly on the ground and rot out I got some pressure treated wood and we're gonna um, and we're gonna make, uh, make sure uh, we build a nice base for this thing. So, and I also gotta fix this up really, really nice and secure this as well. So guys, it's just something new to the channel, something different to the channel. Um, there's no limit to what I do. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, we got the structure moved over. Um, this is pretty much clamped out. So we're gonna set, the, I'm gonna build the base for the structure to set on and we're gonna set the structure back on it. I removed this top, then I started the latches, then I'll get that secured. So uh, let me start cutting. I got a four by four by eight left over from the fence post. Uh, four by four by ten. Uh, I'm gonna cut and make me a really nice base. This is a, it was slim pickings at Home Depot today. They didn't have much wood. I have to buy this rather than a four by four by eight. Okay, guys, we got our little base set up. That's where we at so far. Um, got the bricks layered in between our base so nothing can crawl or dig underneath and come through. So we're gonna set it on top now. Guys, we got this mounted up. These screws, are some screws I had already. We're gonna shove them, save them down with the sawzall. Okay, we're getting it together, guys. We got it on the base. Uh, we got the wood up there for some weight. Um, we're now cutting some uh, vents on the side so we can have some air circulating through this thing. So, cutting that right now. And then we'll use this. I'll put a latch, a hinge on this piece of wood to kind of close up for when it gets cold outside. But right now, we're going to add some mesh there. And we'll put the wood back up with a um, hinge and a small little latch similar to uh, a hinge like this maybe on both and a little hook latch so uh, let me finish this up we're getting it together guys everybody's out here alright so I got my electric stapler uh, my drill for the latches Got your stapler, got the latches in here, got some bird food. So let's get some the birds food right now. We gotta take the chimney off and add some bird food. Okay guys, we're done with well I'm done doing the chicken coop as you can see. Um they're inside already. Man, they've gotten big. Uh so I put the hinges on. I doubled the wire mesh all the way around it. Uh, put the board inside of here so it can for weight. It won't be. It's not flimsy anymore. Um, made these little windows on the side. Put some locks on them in the hinge. 
Uh, I have to raise this up some more. Some of the pressure treated wood I got so it can fit the contour of the run. But um, kind of lined it with bricks. I overlapped the mesh. The mesh runs all the way down and just overlapped it. Um, as you guys can see, uh, they're in here. Got the other side over here with the same thing. Uh, latch, hinge. Uh, yeah, we um, got it together finally. And like I said, we kind of double meshed it out and made sure it was secure and predator proof. Trying to make sure they're as safe as possible. So um, I'll be doing a few more things to this and future videos. This is just for right now to get them secured and making sure they're okay and some broken wood. But uh, all the wood that I attached the last two on the inside for the door, the little chute door right there. Um, <laughs> Must was dry rod. It just came right off of it, so I gotta fix this. But um, they're safe right now, which is the most important thing. So um, stay tuned for further videos with me just kind of dealing with this. This is just further now. We'll eventually get something better.